Jesus calls and he will give you multiple blessings. Let not your heart be troubled. today's program and when you honor your family members honor will come to you from heaven God says I will be a father to you and you will be my sons and daughters When you come together, how do you pray the family prayer? Many of you may be asking. Hello, dear friends. It's such a joy for us to meet you today in this program. God has a special blessing for you. I'm going to call this program as a double portion program. <laughs> God's blessings coming to you in double measure. in double measure in sakriya 912 god says i will give you double blessing today <laughs> mm. i will restore mm. double portion mm -hmm. i love it i will restore unto you double, double. Mm. i will restore unto you double maybe today you have lost your loved one the holy spirit shows me there is a lady who has lost her loved one you are an elderly person and your name starts with the letter f i am not able to pronounce it your heart is broken because your husband is gone and he was everything to you and you were everything to him and i see that you are a literary person and you have the great skills of communication writing and thinking and you have been such a intellectual person but a person with great dignity and honor in your life and today you feel so weak having lost your dear husband so many people look to you and you feel that you do not have the flow that you had in your literary skills in the thoughts in half your mind and despair has filled you but right now the holy spirit shows me that god needs you god needs you and in the place of your loving husband the lord will be with you as a father and he is going to give you a revelation and you're going to write and publish the things which are going to bring a life to many many people especially the young women are going to be greatly comforted and strengthened through your writings and it's going to bring the power of god also along with that so rise up and receive the strength in your spirit through the love of god through the love of god God loves you God needs you God has a purpose for your future rise up rise up rise up don't wait for your grave right now rise up and lift people out of their graves by the grace God has given you thank you lord for blessing her thank you thank you eat it eat it you have a problem in the finances you have a problem with your husband and you have a problem in your body the viruses are being healed by the power of god right now eat it you will live 
you will see the glory of God in your family and the grace of God is coming into your life and giving you double portion. He is restoring, restoring everything in double measure. The Lord is restoring. That's the message the Holy Spirit is giving each one of you who is watching this program. Restoration in double measure, restoration in double measure, restoration in double measure. There's going to be joy and a purpose in your life. Purpose in your life. Receive it in Jesus' name. By the power of God, receive it, receive it. There are some people who have lost your job. But you know why God allowed you to lose your job? Because you were so attached to that job. God now wants to take you to greater heights. You're going to get double portion, double portion. Some of you who have been working, 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 working for somebody else, God is going to give you your own business, your own business. Yes, you're going to start a business and you will have double portion mm -hmm. and your family will come around you and you're going to have the greatest, joyous family life as never before, never before because all are going to work together and there's going to be double portion of joy and double portion of prosperity. Receive it in Jesus name by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for doing it Lord. Thank you. Some of you have been laboring in the ministry for the purposes of others to fulfill their purpose in the ministry. But now God is giving you the grace to move into the realm of your calling your calling, the boldness is coming upon you and you shall enter in and have double portion like Elisha. You will have double portion. Receive it in Jesus name. The grace is coming right now. Pat, God is touching you and strengthening you. The back problem is being healed by the power of God. Rise up and fulfill the purpose of your calling in double measure. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. The Holy Spirit shows me that as this double portion comes to you, you'll have double portion of honor. <laughs> double measure. Isaiah 61, 7 is going to be fulfilled. Praise the Lord. You will have double portion of honor. The grace is coming to you right now. Coming to you right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, wonderful Holy Spirit. Increase, increase, increase. It's coming to you by the presence and the power of God. Love, love, love is coming into your family. There's going to be restoration, restoration in your family life. Receive it right now. Ajanta, I see a name, Ajanta. You will have double portion. Rest in your spirit. You've been laboring, 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 but now there's going to be a rest and double portion of joy is going to be restored in your family. It's happening right now. Receive it by the power of God. Amen. Amen. Holy Spirit is with us. Yeah. Would you read 2 Kings chapter 2 from verse 1. Before you read, mm -hmm. Sam, Sharon has gone to attend her classes in the university. I'm sure everybody is missing her. <laughs> Let's listen to her song. My Savior, I Love Thee by Sharon and Sweetie.
Wonderful. Thank you, sweetie, for that beautiful song. Thank you, Cher. Well, let's get back to the scriptures. We sing and we read the scriptures and we pray. That's family prayer. Would you do that every morning or every night in your home, whenever it's convenient? Even if all the members of the family are unable to come together, you start it first. Then have one more person join you. Then others will join you. And that's going to be powerful in your family. This is how we pray every day. And that's why our family has been built by God. And we are used as a family and the same grace and the anointing flows through each one of us to touch millions. God is going to strengthen your home, your family, and give you a double portion. So start praying together. A family that prays together stays together. <laughs> so when you come together, how do you pray the family prayer? Many of you may be asking. Sing a song. Sing a chorus and praise God. Thank Him for all that He has done. And declare His majesty. Don't wait to go to church wait at the feet of God as a family. That's power. Go to church, of course, you have to do that. But then you have to come together as a family and God is willing to bless you as a family and make you enjoy miracles as a family. So sing and then read the scripture and God will speak to you and give you a revelation and claim that and pray as a family. That's how we pray. Yeah. And each one of us pray and when we pray, we get miracles in our home. Abundant good things come to our home because Jesus is there in our home. <laughs> Not just in church where we go and pray with others, but in our home. To have Jesus in your home, you have to pray as a family. So start doing it and you will see miracles in your family. It's beginning today. Mm. Sam, would you read the scripture? 2 Kings 2 verse 1 When the Lord was about to take Elijah up to heaven in a whirlwind, Elijah and Elisha were on their way from Gilgal. Elijah said to Elisha, Stay here, the Lord has sent me to Bethel. But Elisha said, As surely as the Lord lives and as you live, I will not leave you. So they went down to Bethel. The company of the prophets at Bethel came out to Elisha and asked, Do you know that the Lord is going to take your master from you today? Yes, I know, Elisha replied, but do not speak of it. Then Elijah said to him, Stay here, Elisha, the Lord has sent me to Jericho. And he replied, As surely as the Lord lives, and as you live, I will not leave you. So they went to Jericho. The company of the prophets at Jericho went up to Elisha and asked, asked him, Do you know that the Lord is going to take your master from you today? Yes, I know, he replied, but do not speak of it. And then Elisha said to him, Stay here, the Lord has sent me to Jordan. And he replied, As surely as the Lord lives and as you live, I will not leave you. So the two of them walked on. Fifty men of the company of the prophets went and stood at a distance facing the place where Elijah and Elijah had stopped at the Jordan. Elijah took his cloak, rolled it up and struck the water with it. The water divided to the right and to the left and the two of them crossed over on dry ground. When they had crossed, Elijah said to Elisha, Tell me what I can do for you before I am taken from you. Let me inherit a double portion of your spirit, Elisha replied. You have asked a difficult thing, Elijah said, yet if you see me when I am taken from you, it will be yours, otherwise not. <laughs> and Elisha got it. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. Elisha had the double portion and he asked for it, he got it. But then the one thing that is so important is Elisha, the servant of Elijah, never left Elijah. A faithful man mm. shall abound with blessings. Mm. And if you are not faithful with the saints of God around you, how can God give you eternal blessings. Mm. He says, if you're not faithful with the things that I give you in this world, the money that I give you in this world, how can I give you eternal blessings, heavenly blessings? So many times we think only about money, but God wants us to be faithful with the saints around us. Who are the saints around us? Our own family, our own family. We consider 
our family members less and we consider others outside as saints that's why we don't get double portion if you want double portion in your home consider your wife as a saint consider your husband as a saint consider your children as a saint and thank god saying you have given me these saints lord and i'm going to cling on to them i'm going to cling on to them i'm going to honor them and when you honor your family members honor will come to you from heaven double portion will be restored <laughs> cling on to them don't look at those prophets who are all the time outside prophesying to you saying things to bring fear into you you're going to lose this you're going to lose that look to those who are with you whom god has destined whom god has put to be with you honor your parents first honor your husband first love your wife first and if a wife is not sanctified she'll be sanctified when you are holy if your husband is not sanctified don't condemn your husband all the time you become holy 1 Corinthians 7:14 then automatically your wife will be sanctified your husband will be sanctified so as elisha clung on to elisha saying god's spirit is in you so when you confess that god's spirit is in your family members you will have double portion through them <laughs> when you condemn that evil spirit is upon your family members the person who condemns will get double portion of evil back to them mm -hmm. <laughs> so what you say you will have mm -hmm. so say to your family members you are holy you are sanctified and you are carrying the spirit of god and you will have double portion coming back to you this is the grace god is going to give you and elisha never left elijah you see elijah said god is asking me to go to gilgal elisha said i'll go with you so when god speaks to one of the family members the others have to go with them have to go along with them not saying god is speaking to me also I am going this direction. If you want you go in that direction. You will never have double portion. You will lose what you have. But when you go along with the one whom God has united to be with you, then you will have double portion. Humble yourself. Humble yourself not only before God, not only before the other saints, but before your own family members whom god has mm. kept around you and that's how god has led us mm. when god speaks to each of us we all get together support each other mm. and fulfill the will of god that's why we get double portion mm. <laughs> joy miracles and millions are blessed millions not because of our prayers but because we work together with god mm. honoring each other for the calling for the revelations that God has given us and God blesses whatever we do and gives us double portion the bible wrote that, that she was so faithful to her mother in law and she said i'll go wherever you go beautiful <laughs> and your god is my god and the lord blessed her with a beautiful son <laughs> not only son mm. god gave her a husband and built her home again mm -hmm. unbelievable in a foreign land mm. and she was called righteous mm. by all the people in that foreign country mm. she was a moabite woman but the israelites called her as a sanctified woman mm. and they were so happy to receive her into the israelite community she had a husband and god gave her a son mm. and that son through that son jesus christ came into the world <laughs> God was born in that family. How much honor. How much prosperity. And she brought God into the world. That's fantastic. That's the right revelation. God is going to do that for you. Do not be afraid. Today 
cling on to whatever god has given you your own family members cling on cling on cling on and through you they'll be sanctified and you'll be sanctified through them and you'll fulfill the mission of god and you will have double portion i'm going to talk about it more in the next program <laughs> so keep watching this program every week it's going to continue it's going to be a series and finally you'll have double portion in everything that god has given you and we want to pray with you right now and believe god to give you double portion right now evangeline would you pray thank you lord jesus for your word that you will bless us in double measure lord you will restore us double law double we claim it today master yes whoever has lost their husbands or wives or parents or children lord comfort them master lord yes, put lord. your love into your hearts yes, and lord. build their families lord build them lord as you built the family of ruth build their families lord and let joy come into their families again master again lord father restore them double father in the same place where they went through shame give them double portion of blessings lord blessings blessings father they might have lost their job lost their children lord father give them a wonderful job and a child again master and build their home master mm-hmm. father have compassion have mercy upon them and bless them today lord lord i pray for their health also lord jesus father restore them master the health that they have lost father the pain in their bodies lord take it away lord remove it master remove it lord as they are praying today for the restoration of the spirit of god father fill them lord jesus yes fill them without measure yes. without measure Holy as you anointed jesus christ of nazareth yes. right now let the holy spirit come upon you yes master. father double measure in the double the measure without measure yes you fill jesus without measure lord yes. lord we want to be like jesus like jesus father we want to do what jesus did we want to go wherever jesus went lord father we want to be like jesus the nature of jesus we want it lord father lord fill your people lord fill your people with the power of the holy spirit with the gifts of the holy spirit master restore to them in double in double father thank you for blessing them today master be with them lord let the joy of the holy spirit fill their hearts without measure in jesus name we pray amen and amen, amen. praise the lord today is a great day double portion is coming to you and call our prayer tower 24 hours people are waiting to receive your calls and pray for you and all the prayer requests are sent to us and we pray every day putting our hands on your name and your prayer requests literally my friends every day all the prayer requests come to us and we pray for you and we write back to you and we want to send you a gift for your gift towards this ministry whatever you can please send it regularly to sustain this ministry it may be $30 or $40 a month or a week or in two weeks whatever you can do do it let's go and heal the broken hearted people yes join with us as a family cling on to the spirit of god who is moving mightily through this ministry and surely i believe god will give you double portion god will give you he will honor you for your faith and also i'd like to invite you to join us for the prophetic conference which we are having in dallas may 16 to 18 please go to our website all the details are given there please enroll and come as a family and god will transform you to have double portion as god's prophet and you'll hear his voice and you will see restoration in double measure and also come to the holy land with us october end and november first week and 
We'll have a tour. We'll have prayer sessions for miracles in your life. And also, we'll be opening the building for the prayer tower in Jerusalem. We have got the building and there'll be a dedication. You can be part of it. God bless you. Jesus Calls Ministry has a deep burden for the brokenhearted and is always praying for God's wonderful work in bringing smiles back to all people. If you would like to partner with us in this great commission, please support us through your prayers and contributions every month. We will gladly send you this book for a donation of $25 or more as an expression of our gratitude. The Lord's Ambassador. In this book, Dr. Paul Dinekrin answers many spiritual questions like, can anyone serve God? How can I minister unto the Lord? How can I know the calling of God for my life and move into it? How do I receive God's power to minister? And are there rewards for serving the Lord? And many, many more. Please send your donations to Jesus Calls International, P.O. Box 565888, Dallas, Texas, 75356. If you want to know more about Jesus Calls International, visit our website, JesusCalls.com. Click and browse through the various sections for children, youth, and women. You will find the daily promise verses, the messages of the Dinocrans, ministry activities, upcoming events, and much more. Visit JesusCalls.com. Click and get into God's presence. Watch Jesus Calls with Dr. Paul Dinocuran the same time next week. Until then, may the Lord be with you.